Hello guys and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to this lovely Škoda dealership where today I'm going to show you all the details of the new Škoda Superb. So here is the key, when you unlock it you are greeted with this nice new matrix, LED lights and the dynamic indicators. Now this is the 2021 model here, that means we have a few changes, also this is the facelifted version. So what's new on the facelift? Well first of all they put the mask a bit down to make it more aggressive and also you have a different shape of the new lights uh, which are by the way um, the first matrix LEDs that were introduced uh, with Skoda because this car was actually introduced, uh, the facelift actually was introduced at the Paris Motor Show in 2019. But now uh, we do have these lights that are connected to the front grille overall. Very, very nice and aggressive design. We do have also the new bumper and redesigned fog lights. Now this is the special version because not only it is the top of the line, Lauren and Clement edition, so Founders edition model. It is also a plug-in hybrid, so look at this. You have a hidden... Okay, you need to unlock it, of course. Uh, so, when you unlock the car, which I'm gonna do right now, you have this hidden socket, of course, because this is a plug-in hybrid. So, here is where you charge the car. I do love the fact that they, uh, you know, hide it here. It's well hidden actually and looks very nice indeed. So the lights, as you can see, uh, we have the indicators and the daytime running lights here and then the main lights incorporated down there. And let me also show you the uh, specs of this thing. So Lauren and Clement edition. This is the plug-in hybrid price, the base price for the plug-in hybrid. And then the name of the color is Brilliant Silver Metallic. We have a bunch of uh, equipment as standard. And then only few things are, uh, you know, an option here. So, uh, for example, the rear wiper is one of those a heated uh, front windshield. And uh, yeah, 19 inch wheels and the navigation system. But let me show you the car from the side. So four meters, 87 is the length of this thing so it is actually eight millimeters longer than the predecessor but the wheelbase uh, remains the same and that means of course a huge amount of space for the passengers inside but uh, because of the redesigned bumpers you have a bit longer car speaking about the wheels they go from 17 up to 19 inch uh, this as you can see lauren and clement edition starts with 18 inch and then these are the 19 inch which are an option a beautiful one if you ask me and i would go for this probably on this model this particular model also has the sunroof which you see here and then let me show you the car from the rear so few things have changed here uh, first thing you notice is the new uh, signature of the led lights at the back and then they are connected with this chrome line going all the way and makes the car even wider in my opinion. So look at it from this angle, very, very nice indeed. Then moving on, we do have the lettering instead of the Skoda badge. Tell me in your comments what you think about that. And here you see that it's a hybrid. So this is the um, lettering for hybrid versions of the Skoda models, intelligent vehicle actually, I believe this means. And uh, yeah, and we can also see from this angle maybe uh, the LED indicators, looking very nice. And let me show you the trunk. So actually, let's open it with the key. So what you need to do is uh, just press this. There we go. And then here, huge amount of space, but since this is the hybrid, you do have a bit less than the standard one. So the standard would get 625, where here you have around 485, I believe. And then uh, this is your place for the cables. So that's really convenient uh, and still very, very practical. Uh, when you fold the seats, you have a flat bottom and really, really impressive amount of space there. 12 volt power outlet is here and since this is all huge you have a lot of light in the trunk and really uh, I mean among the best in class that's for sure 
look at those hooks here and then down there as well as on the other side two led lights and then additional hooks for your shopping bags on both sides here on the front so yeah this is really you know practical car indeed and look at this additional hook actually so thumb up for that and then when you want to close the trunk you just press this and there we go it closes speaking about the suspension there are actually uh, three options of the suspension so standard one sporty one with the sportline trim uh, or if you spec it and then the best option is the dcc dynamic chassis control now the thing is with the plug-in hybrid you always get the dcc so that's always a nice you know feature and uh, yeah well now i think it is time to check out the interior of this thing so uh, when we open this you are greeted with very very luxurious interior and you also have the puddle light skoda i don't know if you can see it i believe you actually can and now here we have this uh, nice materials this is all in leather and then this is uh, aluminium door handle pretty nice these are the switches for your mirrors and for the windows of course but they are in black not sure i like this contrast tell me in your comments what do you think about those and the color on them and then the door pocket is actually nice you have the space for uh, you know a bottle and also you have the carpeting here then we do have the canton speakers here in the lauren and clement edition and when you are entering you are greeted with the superb logo here and overall this is very nice look at the seats uh, with this stitching lauren and clement really really nice and very comfortable so now let's see how it looks from driver's perspective all right so this is the view from driver's perspective first thing you'll notice is the new steering wheel so this is new for the 2021 model year uh, this is well known from the octavia actually and now they are you know introducing those steering wheels in the rest of the skoda crew models and tell me in the comments what do you think about it so this steering wheel was at first a bit weird for me when i saw it on the photos but when i saw it on the new octavia for the first time i really loved it and now i also think it is a great one uh, because it's very very classy so for a car like this the lauren and clement edition a very you know luxurious model i think this is a great you know uh, feature and i'm definitely a fan of the steering wheel in this kind of car so you actually started by pressing the start engine button which is located in here in front of us there is a digital cockpit 10.25 inch one and that is actually an option so uh, on the base one you would get the analog cluster but you can of course always upgrade to this tell me in your comments what you think about it some people actually prefer the classic dials for me it's definitely this 10.25 uh, inch digital screen uh, which is in my opinion you know a better one and uh, you also have the different views of course uh, i'll cover that in a moment let's see the rest of the interior first so uh, you can see that we have the big screen 9.2 inch one and then uh, actually three infotainment systems and screens are available first one is the uh, 8 inch one and then this is the optional one i do love the fact that we still have this touch sensitive buttons uh, or panel whatever you want to call it now here it's easy to use it like that but this is all very nice you have this soft touch here on the dashboard then the air vents are located uh, up here and i do love this feature and this element here as well as the uh, lettering lauren and clement to remind you that you are in top of the line model canton sound system 10 speakers but actually no subwoofer on the plug-in hybrid uh, because uh, of the batteries it's not possible to fit a subwoofer uh, in the trunk i mean it would be possible then you would lose probably more space so that's why they don't have the subwoofer ac controls are here on the classic switches and that is a big thumb up from me so easy to use nice clicking sound as well and yeah that's really convenient i do love this and then changing the temperature on this also button that's nice then um, the heated seats uh, also here this car does have those as well as the heated steering wheel 
and then uh, you change the different uh, you know settings for the AC and you can also press the menu button and then you get the AC controls here on the screen so really easy to use here we have your uh, space for the mobile phone as well as the 12 volt power outlet and the USB-C port and actually let's turn off the AC you put this back by you know pressing it this is the six speed DSG actually so when you have the hybrid this is the uh, combination 1.4 liter TSI electric motor paired with the uh, DSG six speed and then here are your buttons for the modes now actually this car does have the E mode which is the fully electric mode and then you can drive purely on electric power for around 60 kilometers this is the switch for the you know various driving modes so you have the eco mode comfort i love this uh, changing of the you know picture behind it normal sport and individual let's see what can we change in the individual mode so since this car does have the dcc as i was telling you about you can change the adjustment of the dumpers but on new skoda octavia for example you can change the dcc um, I mean you have more options here just have the comfort normal and sport so not like on the new for example octavia rs uh, but it's still nice actually let's go back to the driving mode sorry uh, we can change the dcc the steering the acc light assistance air conditioning so everything can be adjusted in this individual mode uh, so those were the driving modes and then when you go for the ev mode uh, you see how much of a battery you still have so 89 percent in this case and uh, yeah you can choose the ev mode for just cruising on electric power so pure electric motor is then uh, doing the job what else do we have here is the button to open the fuel cap and then this is for your trunk parking sensors and steering then this is the electronic parking brake it's actually a big one auto hold function and lock unlock button uh, this is sort of like the aluminium something like that looks good and then here is the roller for the cup holders which are not adjustable but i think you will manage to fit you know a bottle here without major problems i don't like the fact that this is sort of like the black and then this is beige not sure i like this combination it would be better to have all in one color personally i would go probably for the black version uh, but yeah that's just me but if you are into this kind of color and uh, you know shade then i think you will also not like this black part here it just looks out of place looks like you replaced it with a different trim i don't know that's just me but tell me in your comments do you agree now i love this huge armrest you can really you know put your hand here and enjoy and then here you have huge amount of storage space and also it is cooled so you can actually you know cool your drinks here usb classic a port and the led light so this is really nice a big thumb up from me for that let's see the glove box as expected it is a huge one uh, also cooling is here and the carpeting inside so big thumb up really this car is uh, just perfect for cruising and doing long road trips in it and that's probably what people are going to use it for when they buy one and moving on let me show you the uh, you know infotainment system itself so when you go to the menu this is the uh like the the main menu layout radio telephone navigation stuff like that you have a bunch of things also here and then the second home button is actually here and then you have for example navigation audio telephone you can adjust various things here and uh, also you can put your shortcuts depending on you know the things that you use we also have the gesture control let's go back to the main menu and let me show you the features this is all very responsive as you can see station list is here and then the back button is down there let's go back to the main menu here okay telephone you can pair your iphone or your you know, android phone with android auto or apple carplay of course and navigation system let's see it here it is let's see for example uh, the day mode there you have it so 
So this is the day mode and then when you change it to night mode it looks nicer in my opinion but tell me in the comments what you think about that. And all pretty responsive. Not the best but not bad at all. And uh, yeah of course you can calculate your route here. I'm not gonna do that right now. Let's go back to the menu button. Driver assist systems. Of course this car is packed with the safety systems as expected so when you press this button you have all of them all together here acc adaptive cruise control then emergency braking lane assist side assist dynamic road sign signal trailer recognition so all is available here and then for easier usage you can just for example press this and you see that this is the lane assist and then you can activate it or deactivate it so it's all very logical and uh, let's go back to the main menu actually media of course you can pair your uh, media uh, and you have the usb ports as well smart link so the apple carplay or android auto are available vehicle settings let's see those so since this is the hybrid, you have some special displays for the, they call them the e-display. And we see the electric range monitor, energy flow. So when you're driving, you will see the flow and you see where the batteries are located. They are down there. That's why we have, uh, you know, a bit less of a trunk, but it's so good really. And yeah, the emissions, stuff like that all can be adjusted here and then you also have some driving data here as well as the vehicle status but yeah you get the point then here are your vehicle settings tires lights let's see the light settings here are your settings for the dynamic light assist and the sensor sensitivity stuff like that moving on parking and maneuvering the volume for the sensors you can adjust it here let's actually put the front Okay, <laughs> you get it. And uh, yeah, let's check out the background lighting. And we'll put it to manual. And now I need to press on the lights, which are turned on. Okay, so let's see this. Now you see that we have the lights. Let's change the color to red ones see that this is actually changing see the blue one oh that's nice and let's see the different sections where we can you know change the lights so you have the lights at the footwell we need to increase those and as well as those on the doors see those there and at the back we also have them so that's nice let's see for all areas we will put them to maximum and then adjust the color for example red let's see if you can see this here as well as here on the doors of course it will be much better you know to see it during the night let's put it to purple the blue one i think the blue one is the best and also you can clearly see it let me actually zoom in here and show you the blue light at the back then green so those are the options i will put it to blue and keep it that way the most relaxing one you can also of course uh, do the automatic one where you change the driving modes and then it's changing the colors that's also possible let me show you that so this is now blue but as soon as i change the driving mode you see we have eco is of course green comfort is sort of like the blue one normal mode is white sport will probably be some kind of orange something like that and the individual so yeah that's cool but i'll put it to manual once again and now you have the blue ones which i put before that anyway moving on so those are the settings for the car you can also adjust meters and wipers opening and closing instrument cluster 
eco tips or other you know things that you want or don't want on your screen all that can be adjusted in here i'm not gonna go through that right now and well yeah that's about it you have these sound settings for the canton sound system and also for other you know things for example this touchscreen tone i've turned it on you can turn it off if you don't like it but i think it's a relaxing one so cool and well yeah back to the menu button on this side you have the manuals settings where you would change the language or stuff like that the air conditioning so this is where it leads uh, when you press it but also you can just reach it by pressing the menu button here on the switches but as i said we have the switches so it's very easy to use it and you don't actually need uh, you know the touch screen for that and you also have this e-manager for charging then the shop so this is something that uh, you know i always talk about as the future of car industry so you will be able to buy some of the features which you didn't buy when you bought the car itself or when you bought the car from you know when you bought a used car then you will be able to upgrade it maybe with these features uh, we need to log in now and also this is you know just the beginning but i think in the future this will be a very interesting and important button and then the images you can also have the images here users if you people are driving the car and then the e-manager which i already showed you, you had the uh, you know shortcut on the ac controls actually for the e-manager and that's it guys so legal information and the gesture control actually works rather fine when you turn off the screen you have the clock and you can have three different clocks actually and i prefer this one it's the most classy one but let's turn on the screen back again and yeah well that was the screen and then uh, this in front of you is the digital cockpit with different you know uh, information available you have this for example big navigation screen here which is nice to see and then you can also choose uh, the views you have so you see what this we are changing the views i love this one with just the rev counter and then this is the classic one but since this is the hybrid you also have this section here for the charge and power and then moving on just the navigation uh, which you can zoom in and zoom out easily with this button here and uh, yeah well that's about it which screen do you prefer let's put it to classic one and that was the interior at least this front section and now let's check out the space at the back so there should be you know a lot of space uh, i also need to mention this frameless mirror which is nice and then here is where you turn on this led lights let's actually open the sunroof it's very easy to do it and then when you do this you close it just like that and this can be adjusted manually but we will keep it like this so now let's go to the rear bench and i think we can expect a huge amount of space at the back wheelbase is two meters and 84 centimeters and now look at this just by looking at it you see that it's a huge space here and then we have the leather here as well and this is also actually soft so big thumb up for that you can put this shade you know so you don't get distracted by the sun even though this car also has the tinted windows and uh, yeah once again the superb lettering is here and let's actually enter here at the back <laughs> this is just like driving and i don't know residential limousine look at the amount of space that i have guys so i'm one meter 87 and the seating is uh, you know adjusted for myself i have space for my head i can even lean back a bit more so it's so relaxed to be here and i can just imagine that driving in this thing is a pure pleasure 
and you also see the ambient lights here right now so on the side and also on this side but now of course they turned off since the car is not on but yeah door pockets AC controls are here and then additionally you can get the real power outlet here as well as two USB-C ports big thumb up for Skoda you know for offering this huge amount of space and then the isofix points are here let's see the armrest here in the middle with cup holders all very nice and then of course the ski hatch and very very useful car indeed and then this is the view on the front i do love this panoramic roof even though i would not get it uh, in my car but looks nice here and then additional hooks for your i don't know bags or something like that but this is really comfortable guys this is huge huge amount of space which we are of course used to in the skoda superb models and let's check out the hybrid engine so press this we open the hood of course hydraulic struts are here you have the good isolation and then this is the combination of 1.4 liter TSI and electric engine so total output is 218 horsepower around 7.7 .7 seconds to reach 100 and uh, yeah well very efficient engine actually and you have the 13 kilowatt hour battery that means uh, you know you can drive precisely up to 62 kilometers uh, just on the electric mode so if you for example uh, have a charger at home you charge it overnight and then when you go to work you can use the electric power and also for example charge at your work and then go back home so that's the ideal usage of this kind of uh, vehicle and as we said this is where you charge the battery speaking about charging it's not the fastest one of course you do need around three and a half hours to charge the battery uh, you know 200 percent but then that's the idea to charge it over the night and have a full battery when you start your day other options of course include the standard petrol and diesel engines uh, 2 liter tdi or 1.5 liter tsi tell me in your comments you know which engine would you choose and why and well yeah close the front hood and now once again we are greeted with very very nice looking and you know sharp looking front i think overall the car is very elegant and classy especially in this spec with this trim let me actually come to you when i turn on the lights so that you see it with lights and then we'll conclude this review so there we go here it is in full glory i mean just look at the lights look at this element here i do love this uh, matrix leds from skoda tell me in the comments how do you like this 2021 model year how do you like this top trim here is uh, once again the spec list and uh, this is the total price of this vehicle but i'll put of course the base price for the skoda superb also on your screen a uh, good thing about this car is that the co2 emission is really low so not much of a you know special tax here in croatia based on the co2 emission so that's the advantage of this kind of car and well yeah that's about it tell me in the comments how do you like it thank you very very much for watching do subscribe to the channel in order to see more car reviews and see you on the next one bye bye